Bob, Kalamazoo, Michigan, the great WKZO. Go. Hi, Mark. <clears throat> I really appreciate your show, but I wanted to mention I'm a conservative, but one of the things I have problems with is I believe in secure borders. I believe in uh, balanced budget. I believe in all that, but I believe that we have to stop being the world's policemen without paying for it. You know, we we're willing to go into debt to go all these places and, and send our military, but we got to start paying. Man, man where, where are all these places we're going into? Can you name five? Well, we have we have we have troops in about 103 countries in advisory. Well, uh, that that is that is a Ron Paul argument that means absolutely nothing to me. So we should pull our troops out of Germany. We have uh, bases forward. Let me let me educate you. We have forward bases in these countries. Forward bases. Germany's not at war. Italy's not at war. I can go all around the world if you want. We have these bases for a reason, to ensure that we're protected so they can alert us, so we can move quickly. And when we do have wars or do have battles, we can move our troops in and out. We, uh, some of them are harmed. Some of them are killed, so we can move them in and out. I don't quite understand what you're saying. So we have bases in Germany. We're not interfering in Germany. We have bases in Italy. We're not interfering in Italy. We have bases in Africa. We have bases all over the world. See, you're an isolationist. You're not a conservative. What do you mean we have troops all over the world? They're not fighting all over the world. No, the only place they're really in harm's way right now is South Korea. So you would take our troops out of South Korea after what, half a century of peace? No, I would leave them in South Korea because without them, the South Korean government would fall, definitely. No, the South Korean government wouldn't fall. The problem is it, would, it, may, it may instigate the North Korean government to go to war. Right. But I still believe we do too much militarily. We need to back off on that. And, you know, and I'm a conservative. Well, then, yeah, then, okay, you don't have to keep telling me what you are. We're discussing an issue. It's like people who call, we want to talk about things, they say, I'm gay. Did I ask you if you're gay? No. You're, I'm a conservative, but I think we need to back off militarily. Back off where? Uh, in countries where we, we don't... No, no, not... I, where? Be specific. Where? Uh, bases in Japan. Bases in, in Germany. Why would we take bases out of Japan, an ally that welcomes us, where we can send our nuclear fleet? They can't just keep coming to the West Coast and the East Coast, where we can send some of our, our carriers and so forth. Why, why in the hell would we do that? That affects national security directly. You know what you need to do? You need to look at a map. You need to look at these countries. You need to understand that our Navy is a worldwide Navy. Uh, to the extent it, it's it's uh, you know it's under 300 ships now, so we're, that's problematic, and we have these forward bases, these forward ports, and so forth, uh, to protect us, so our military can move around. I stole this. All right, thanks for your call. You, you 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 can disagree with me all you want and have your opinion. You just haven't said anything, as far as I'm concerned. I think it would be crazy to pull out of these places. We're not even fighting in these places. These are our allies. Well, I think we ought to just get out of these places. Why? Awful lot of men died for these places. There are peace in these places. Many of these places have constitutions. Many of these places are democracies. Many of these places want us there. We want to be there. Many of these places, it helps us keep the peace. And certainly it services our military. Why would we withdraw from all those places? And I'm sick and tired of people making it like something's wrong with our country because we're in these places. I'll tell you what. Russia is massing 15,000 troops on the Ukrainian border. It's moving these heavy missiles into the same area. Russia's about to invade the Ukraine, in my humble opinion. They've already invaded it through proxies. So I wonder what the KGB mouthpieces in this country are going to say next. They have a right to the Ukraine. They sign an agreement in 1994, respecting the sovereign borders of the Ukraine. 